everyone, Brandon Ford here with Center Up TV, helping you make Jesus the center of everything. In this week's episode, we were invited to sit down with Christian hip hop artist and minister, Brian Trejo of Kingdom Music. We talked with him all about his music, how the murder of his brother brought him closer to Jesus, and how he is now using his platform to impact God's kingdom in urban neighborhoods all around the country. Check it out. The Bible says only a fool hates correction. I try to tell you, man, you gotta take correction. And now you cage with your anger and aggression. Another victim living the slip of Satan's deception. God, won't you save him from the punishment? God, won't you help him with the covenant? God, hey, won't you take away the covenant? Hey, every covenant he made, man, that one never meant. I just want to edify. Uh, I don't look at it as a career. I'm not in it for a record label. I'm not in it for distribution deals. YouTube fame, uh, social media fame, I don't want none of that on. I just want to win souls. So if the music is gonna win souls, then I'm, I'm winning. You know, uh, both albums, I didn't have no radio spins, no website promotions, and both albums that I released already have hit the billboards without man's elevation, only God's elevation. And God showed me that I don't have to do nothing but just stick to the scripture. I don't have to do nothing but just keep walking. And I don't want to be a, a, a rapper. I want to be a minister of the gospel. I, I Even though I use my gift, but I, that's not what I'm, I don't want to be an MC. I didn't come to, to kick 16s to you all day. I, I want to demonstrate in power, joy, and peace. And uh, if I could use my gift and my talent, amen. And if it, and if it edifies you, amen. You know, but it's not my songs, it's his songs. He breathes on it. I don't even write my music down. I walk around the room for like 15 minutes here beating. It's already on my heart and my, my wife and then they be like, it's, it's crazy. But I was like, think about it. When you hear your favorite song, do you go write it down to learn it? No, it's written on your heart, right? Well, it says in the Bible, I will write a new song on your heart. And it says the Holy Spirit writes the laws uh, on our minds and our hearts. So I'm just grateful that God, bre he breathes on the music. It's his anointing, his ministry. He touches and reaches who he wants. And I don't want none of the glory. I just step back. I want to be used as a vessel, and that's it. You gotta do what you do. I miss my clone. I feel alone. Please don't ignore me. Post for my death. You let my brother go before me. Your ways are not our ways, and that's why I connect to you. I give my best to you. Forgive me when I question you. But what I'm supposed to say when his daughter asks where her daddy at? He went with Jesus to heaven, and he not coming back. Instead of blasting at the ones who took my look alike, I focus on forgiveness, even though I know they took his life. The understandable thing uh, in any of the human being is gonna be mad. I understand that. But the anger came. Like, how could God, how could you let my brother get murdered? He served you. I wanted to question him. Uh, I wanted revenge, retaliation. I've been to prison before for attempted murder. So when he died, it's already in me to retaliate, especially he was innocent. I was like, oh yeah, they, I want them to pay. And um, it was actually coming to a crossroad, like, okay, Lord, like I'm about to go cuckoo. I'm about to lose everything, you know? And I got six kids, he got six kids. That's 12 kids are gonna lose daddy and uncle, Jesus. And I knew right then and there, it was like, you, you gotta forgive. And I was like, and I, I argued with God. I was like, well, my brother was innocent. And the Holy Spirit was like, well, Jesus was innocent. And I was like, but he didn't deserve it. And he said, I didn't deserve it. And I was like, I can't do this alone. I need you to fill me with your, with your power, this supernatural love and forgiveness. I need you to fill me with this uh, substance so I can forgive these people because I, I got all this bitterness and this poison in my spirit, Lord. So every time before I go minister, I, look, I, see, this, I see this dude's face in the mirror every morning. We're identical twins, bro, identical. And every time I look at him, I think his case is still open. They know who did it. The, the, the people, the, his so-called friends, they didn't want to be snitches. So they, didn't, they don't say nothing, you know? So it's like everything I thought was real in the streets was fake. And now I got this passion to expose Satan. I want to expose the enemy in his lies. I want to tell people how much of a liar he is. He's a murderer, he's a liar. And um, so I always got to refresh myself every day I wake up like, Lord, fill me with forgiveness. I pray for the murders of my brother. I pray for anyone who, who laughs at me for living for you. Because people ridicule me, like especially in the, in the neighborhood, homeboys, like you ain't gonna retaliate. That's your brother. What type of brother are you? And and I'm like, what? Well, you don't think I will? And my pride jumps up. So every day I gotta refresh and say, I'm not that man. I don't fight the way I used to fight. I trust you, Christ, that your way of fighting is better than my way. And it is, you know, my weapon for war is righteousness. So I'm really punching Satan. Every time I forgive, I'm really fighting back the right way. I just didn't know that was a way to fight back because it didn't make sense in the physical. But the spiritual aspect is like, oh, okay, I get it now. So if I teach others to forgive and to love, then there's a bunch of us punching them, you know what I mean? And we all want to fight the enemy. Because even if, let's say I retaliated and, and, and went and got the ones who got my brother, um, it would never bring my brother back. So retaliation is what? More blood, innocent blood on my hands, or, you know, and then go to hell because, because of that attitude. So I was like, it has to be a way to fight the real enemy, which is him. 
and it was through love and obedience and forgiveness in Jesus. I hate to do this, but it takes some faith to do this. Look, 2016 and I barely made it through this. Hey, been on the road so much, I preach as if I know so much. Inside I'm broken up, yet no one knows I hold so much. It doesn't show that much to you, it's like I grow so much. Behind the scenes, it seems to me I need some growing up. I was a double-minded Christian, man. I'd get off marijuana and drinking, you know, and um, get right back on it a year later. I was like, like a just tossing back and forth like a California wave, unstable in all of my ways. And um, finally, when I, when I lost my brother, I was like, look, I'm tired of falling. I want to stand. And then I learned how much Jesus loved me, even in my in my vomit. He would leave the 99 to save me every time. I was like, I don't know this type of love. You know, I'm used to the love that one strike one, strike two, you're out. But this unconditional love that go looking for, for someone like me, with my perversion, my murder, my everything evil on my heart, you would still forgive me and say, I see a finished product in you. I see a, a clean Brian. I couldn't even see it on myself. My wife didn't see it. Nobody seen it. But Jesus kept telling me, I see a finish. And look, three years later, man, I'm fighting a, a better way. I'm off the drugs. I haven't been back to drugs. I'm, 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 I'm still married to my wife. You know, I, I was, I was, I didn't know how to keep a relationship, but I'm still married for five years to a woman. We have uh, my kids growing up, learning about Christ. It's beautiful, man, to be standing. It's beautiful to follow His ways. To, uh, to actually want to read the Word and do the Word, not just read it and hear it on Sundays and Wednesdays, but to apply it to have a good foundation, you know, and show my, my family, like, man, it works. Christ works, he's peace, he is the Prince of Peace, he gives us peace, even though I'm still broken at times, he still heals me. Even though I'm weak, I'm strong in him. Even though I'm hungry, I'm fed in him, you know, it works, it's true. Brian's testimony is truly impactful, and we thank him for taking the time to share his story with us. Now to learn more about Kingdom Music and where they will be appearing, check out their website at kingdommusic.org. Now make sure to download our new Center Up TV app, as well as follow us on social media. And if you like the content that you see, be sure to share us with your friends, your church, and your family. Center Up TV only exists with the support of our viewership, so if you can, please click on our donate page and make a donation to ensure we can further our mission of helping you make Jesus the center of everything. I'm Brandon Ford, thanks for watching.